Uh, hey guys, so I picked up this uh, Nexus 5X off of eBay for like about 50 bucks, under 50 bucks, like a few pennies under 50, 50 bucks, and free shipping. Um, for many of you guys that are not familiar about these Nexus 5X phones are, is uh, a lot of people talk about how they boot loop, like they will just... After a while, it'll just have having it. Sometimes maybe just uh, having it for a year, or just a few days and stuff, you know, or a few months. It'll boot loop. And basically, what that means is is that the phone will never go past the uh, the Google screen. So maybe you guys that have like Google phones and stuff, Android phones. Um, normally, you see like that that logo, the Android logo. If it's not like a, <laughs> if it's not like a custom Android or modded Android, um, it'll have like the Android logo. It'll say Google and Android and all that stuff, but that doesn't do that with the, the boot loops anymore. Um, apparently, it's due to something I've heard. It's due to something with um, something inside the chip. Apparently, uh, the Samsung chip. Uh, a lot of people try to blame it on the solder. You know, I don't know what's true with it. Uh, the purpose of this video, though, is to show you that this phone is working now. I bought this as a boot loop uh, cell phone, okay? And basically what I did is, like a lot of people on YouTube, um, <clears throat> I took a heat gun and I heated up uh, the uh, the Samsung chip, okay? I don't think that's a, I don't think that's going to fix anything, okay? Uh, but for some magical fluke, uh, after I heat the chip up um, and put it back together, the dang thing started powering on. It never had any life at all. When I first got the thing, which was on, um, I want to say it was January 15th, 2017, right? It, it, I tried to power it on. It had like a little red a little red LED uh, in one of these speakers. I don't know if that's a speaker or if that's a speaker up there. Uh, it was flashing. It never even turned on. I tried to charge it. Couldn't figure out which way the cable goes into the, the port. It's back to use a USB-C cable. I thought it was going to be a USB, a micro USB uh, charger cable. So, anyways, uh, um, with that being said, I figured, you know, something's wrong with the phone, you know. <clears throat> one thing I tell you is, is if you have one of these Nexus 5Xs, man, don't put this thing in the freezer, man. Don't do that because you're going to mess this thing up, man. You're going to mess your phone up. I know it's, there's nothing to really lose, but trust me. You can mess these things up big time. You know, I know it's already kind of messed up, so what's the big deal? But just don't do that, man. You know, um, I mean, if you guys you want to destroy, destroy the phone and all, you know, it, it's, you shouldn't do that. I mean, if it doesn't work, you should sell it on eBay, man. If you can't, like, I mean, there's no point in you keeping it. Chances are somebody on eBay, like me, would buy this for the parts and stuff. But if you're going to put this thing in the freezer, man, chances are you're going to have condensation that's going to build up inside this, this dang phone. And it's going to cause the phone to have problems and stuff. You know, you can cause some damage with these phones, putting them in the freezer. Because when it starts to sweat, when it comes out and it gets in room temperature and stuff, it's going to start sweating in the inside. And it's basically like having a little bit of water splashed inside of it. You can have water damage. I noticed there's water damage inside this phone. You know, because there's like a... When you... Some of these phones, they have like a little white sticker inside them. And uh, when it gets wet, it'll have like... it'll. It's kind of like a drug baggy thing that cops use to test drugs and stuff. Where the, the the label will change the color and stuff, and that indicates that there's been water damage on it, <clears throat> and that's that's basically what happens. Okay, so that's how I knew right off the bat. Not only did he admit that he put this phone in the freezer and all, but um, he there's also indication that there's water damage inside of it. It still works. I'm gonna show you real quick. I know I ranted like four minutes and thirty minutes. Uh, four minutes and 30 seconds about blah 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 you don't care but i wanted to fill you guys in with a little bit of stuff okay so so chances are i heard a guy say it's probably something inside the chip that's the problem is what he claims um and then there's other people that say that they fixed it i don't know whether it's a permanent fix or temporarily fix that you can access it but let me tell you something 
if you were able to get access to your phone, right? That's the whole purpose that you're trying to do. Get access to your files. The minute you are able to get access to this phone, I encourage you to back up all your data. I encourage you to be very cautious about using this phone as your main phone because, God forbid, if you're out someplace and you come into an emergency situation where you're out someplace in the middle of nowhere and you need to make an emergency call because your car breaks down, you need to have a reliable phone. And, God forbid, if this phone was a boot loop on you, in, out in the middle of nowhere, when you need emergency, you're you are screwed, man. So I'd use this phone with extreme caution. And if you do have one of these, you should have a backup phone to carry with you at all times because you never know what these things are. It's like a ticking time bomb, I guess you could say, <laughs> in a way. Um, but anyways, yeah, this is the phone here, and um, let, me just, let me just see if I can give you guys a look at it so you can see. There's this is the phone. It's like a white. A white model it's pristine man. I took off the screen protector off this thing which is a huge mistake but um, I thought there was like some um, damage to it and stuff to the screen but it wasn't it was just the, it's the screen protector was cracked on it all right so let me turn this thing let me turn this thing on I, I know I'm not wearing a shirt so I'm trying to show my, my man boobs and stuff um, anyways I'm reading this like six minutes and stuff I'm trying to see if I can turn this thing on <coughs> Let's see if we can turn it this way real quick. All right. All right, I'm powering it on now. Okay, there it is. The bootloader is unlocked, so don't worry about this message. Okay, that's not a big deal. My regret is that I didn't take a picture of the seat of the of the uh, the RAM chip because the Samsung chip, um, when I was examining it really close as before I was, as I was heating it up and stuff, I noticed that on one side of the Samsung chip. Um, it appears that there is no, um, nothing fill, nothing like covering the one side. Like most of the signs of the chip, um, everything is kind of like filled in. I kind of want to say it's like, I don't know whether it's, um, solder or flux. I don't know what it is, but there's some stuff and that, um, isn't covering the one corner of the chip, which probably I think is the reason why it's heating up for uh, because, like I said, if you were to not put thermal paste in uh, uh, one part of the CPU when you were putting it back together, chances are one side of the chip is going to be higher than the other, uh, you know, and it's going to cause stability problems with your computer and stuff. Same thing, I think, with the chip, too. I don't know what's up with this chip. I'm not, a, I'm not an expert with phones and stuff, but I would say that not having that chip fully covered with a certain type of stuff that it needs to have and the rest of the edges of it are covered with some type of flux or whatever you know i don't know anyways but yeah this is um this is a nexus uh 5x is what this is um and you know it's it's really it's really a nice phone man there's nothing really wrong with it that i can i can tell other than the fact that you know it was boot loot um i'll do a follow-up video and the whole point of this video uh was to basically talk to you guys about this phone and to hopefully, you know, do a follow-up video, um, if it boot loops ever in the future and stuff. Um, so, like I said, I will do a video, uh, the first, hopefully the first time it boot loops, uh, and let you guys know. Um, if I don't do a video on this, chances are I either got rid of the phone, or the phone is still working. Now, it is, um, I think it's January 18th, January 17th, something like that. I plan to go out today, hopefully, and if I do, I'm going to use this phone a lot, surf the web and stuff, and see what happens, you know, and see if it'll boot loop the, the, day, the day that I, you know, take it out and stuff, if not, I'll get back to you guys, anyways, that is it, guys, thanks for watching.